Morning folks. Today's soap is brought to us by the way of Sterling. The name of this one here is Varen. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, this was a request to use this soap. So here we are. Um, that's what it looks like there on the inside. This particular container is about approximately 5.8 ounces of soap and it's fairly firm inside the container, but you can press your finger in there. And I typically, when I do this, I just scoop it out with a baby spoon, whip it up in a bowl, whatever bowl I feel like using of the day. And uh, it's pretty easy, to, it's pliable to work it down into the bowl. I got the matching aftershave and when I got mine, it came in a container that looks like this. Pretty nice looking container in my opinion. I, I like the green bottles, they, they look good to me. And before I forget also at the end of the shave, off the camera, I'm still using, uh, got this by the way of classic shaving. This is El Vato beard oil. And uh, got some of my usual suspects over here in the way I've got the uh, Crown King Allen Block complete with rubber band this morning. And I still got just a little bit left of my Humphreys Witch Hazel that has peppermint and menthol in it. There's just a little bit left in there. It's just about gone. And uh, shaver of the day, um, not sure exactly how you want to pronounce it. Uh, Univin Lions, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you pr pronounce this. Anyhow, this is a, uh, I guess you might say somebody that uh, did a copy of the Kai uh, Standard Shavette, if you will. And uh, that might be one of the telltale signs also is it's got the, I guess you might say like a little rubber band. And this shape right here is pretty close to like the Kai standard. The Kai standard, at least uh, my best, uh, uh, when I'm looking online, my best search that I could find is on eBay as it goes for prices. And it runs right around the $80 mark. That's the cheapest I've been able to find it. It was like $78 and then, then you got some shipping. And I think that particular one was like $4 or something of the sort. Uh, otherwise, they pretty much run right around the uh, uh, $88, $90 mark. Uh, but this one here got shipped to me just under $10. Um, I've had this one here for a while. This is the one that left that mark right there. <laughs> this is the one. Um, the, it's a tad bit different than um, uh, than a Feather Artist Club shaving with it, that is. And I'm using a Captain Mild Pink in uh, this particular shaver. Now, this box is... Uh, uh, I'm thinking this is a newer box. I've got some other boxes that don't look quite like this because it has this on the side of it, which I thought was pretty cool because it's telling you what it's coated with. Um, for me, that sort of information, I do appreciate when they do stuff like that. And I've got it whipped up here in a wooden bowl. And this uh, this one here, yeah, this is the walnut cherry one. And it, it's a pretty good looking bowl. I like it. Won't be able to find one of these. Uh, they're no longer made. But uh, Colorado Razor Design does make wooden bowls if you're interested in a, a bowl similar to this one here. And I've got it whipped up here with a uh, Heritage Collection Ever Ready. It's got a synthetic knot. It is wet. It's thickened up just a bit. But once I get to working it in and whatnot, it'll, it'll, it'll turn wet. It'll be a little bit on the drippy side. And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, and also I'm going to be using the Phoenix Artisan PAA. This one here is the Ice Cube for a pre-shave. It is getting smaller. It starts out at, at 8 ounces, which is quite a bit. And I got, a, oh, <laughs> at least two days worth of growth. Got a little bit there. Be taken off today. This matter of fact, this particular blade's probably got about, I don't know, five, six shaves on it. It might be down to the end of uh, its usefulness. We'll see today, see how well it works out. As it goes, we're here locally. And I know from, uh, how can you say, from location to location, state to state, things are different on how things are progressing in response of the COVID virus. Um, here, they are going to have football games. Not very many, but they are going to have some. Matter of fact, uh, the teams are starting practice later than normal. And uh, which, you know, to me, I thought it was pretty good. You know, they're going to attempt to do this. At least most of the information that I've seen read, I prefer to read it. It's okay for somebody to go ahead and 
uh, how you say, put the information out there in the way of a video. But I do like to read it. Reason being, in other words, documentation, support of uh, what they're saying, what they're putting out. And uh, I'm just kind of that, that kind of guy. <laughs> As it goes for, you know, how the, uh, the virus is progressing, who it affects the most. And reason why, I guess you might say to a degree, I kind of, sort of stay in hiding. Uh, I, I get out, when, in other words, uh, pretty much when I need to. So, in other words, going out where there's a large group of people or whatever, the only time I usually do that, in other words, when you go grocery shopping or something like that, I don't go out of my way to get in large groups or anything quite like that. I fall in that category that is um, that could end up uh, with the virus, in other words, pretty easy. All right, we're going to wet this here. Matter of fact, I don't know if I even showed that. Did I show that label earlier? This is a pretty nice brush. It's nice to be able to get a copy of a, a vintage. It's just like that shaver there. Because, um, you know, there's a number of folks that, in other words, 90 bucks for 70, 80, 90 bucks for a, uh, a shavette might be a bit steep. And believe it or not, when it comes to Kai shavettes, that's on the cheap side. Inexpensive, I should say. The uh, there's some that are over two hundred dollars. I mean, they look are great. Look like great shavers. I mean, just they're really nice looking. I just don't know that I want to pay that much <laughs> for one. And after uh, patents fall to the wayside, no longer viable, uh, somebody you know taking their shot at making a replica, if you will. It's not a bad thing. Like I said, this one here, um, it shades different than a Feather Artist Club. In my opinion, you want to keep this relatively flat to your face. That's been my experience. So in other words, when I got that one, I was trying a steep angle. Didn't work out so well. At least not yet. I've been shaving with this off and on the past, I don't know, week and a half or whatever. Along with a, um, uh, my next Merkur shave, Makur, I should say, um, it's going to be a Merkur Progress adjustable. The scent strength on this, coming right off of the tub, it rolls out pretty, uh, pretty good. I uh, wouldn't call it a weak scent by any means. It's kind of a bold, maybe earthy scent. When I smell the aftershave right out of the container, uh, for whatever reason, it makes me think of the color green. Even though I don't think that's the total, the totality of the scent. I think that's just the first thing I, my nose picks up, you know, straight out of the container. And... Um, <laughs> if you're not familiar with my nose, <laughs> it doesn't work all that well, so what you smell may be totally different. I should point out, this particular shaver, the way it's set up, it's got a hole right here through there. Kind of see there at the end. Uh, that hole will hold water. Just beware when you dip it in water. Tony was quite honorary yesterday, the day being Sunday, yesterday being Saturday. Um, yesterday, yes. Uh, he is really hard on a fence. When he decides he wants to get out um, and he wants to go see somebody, <laughs> he is really hard on a, on a fence and he busted the gate open yesterday. Started getting proficient at uh, gate repair. <laughs> And this is not the first time he's broke it. When we did uh, take him in to get his shots, he weighed down 82 pounds. Tony's our German Shepherd, in case I forgot to mention that. And he is mostly black. One of these days when I can get him, how can you say, tame enough to sit long enough to get a picture? I'll get a picture and put it, put it up. He's a... He's an impressive looking German Shepherd. But he's just a big baby.
but he is intimidating looking. <laughs> when he got out, <laughs> it was funny. And I'm, I'm not sure how all of it transpired because I couldn't see all of it. When he got out yesterday, you know, trying to get him to, how you say, come back home. <laughs> a lady a few houses down was outside <laughs> and she saw him. <laughs> he comes running up to her because, you know, he, he's wanting he, he's wanting somebody to be his friend. And she doesn't know that, of course. You got this big, mostly black German shepherd come running up there. I mean, he's just, uh, you know, he's kind of derpy. In other words, the way he runs, he's... <laughs> He's just kind of, you know, flopping along and he runs up to her and the next thing I see is a mop flying his way. <laughs> it was funny. I mean, funny on my part because I, I know Tony. I, I know how he is. He's not, he doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He just wants to be everybody's friend. He wants to play. He wants the attention. So when we leave, he usually tears something up. If he can find something, if he's in that kind of mood, if he's upset that we're leaving him alone. That separation anxiety thing. And I don't think they make a strong enough CBD oil to get him to remain calm. He's something else. Also with a uh, shavette, I usually just, uh, a two-pass shave is good enough for me. I might do some across the, across the grain on the cheeks, but usually two, two passes works well for me. Like I said, you want to keep this relatively flat. Just, I mean, just off the top of this right here, just off of your face. To me, that works pretty well. Steeper angle, unless you really got experience with it. For me, I, I just <laughs> got myself good trying that angle. I fail, for the most part, especially for somebody that might be starting out and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this is not a half bad buy. I mean, just under 10 bucks shipped, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's an awesome price. And it does have a wee bit of weight to it. It's not a lightweight shaver for... So in other words, uh, it may have some aluminum in it, but most of it, it's, it's fairly stout. If you like a, a shaver that's got some weight behind it. We've been quite busy still here. Things haven't slowed down much. I tried to watch some videos. I did get some. I did get one in particular. I think maybe I got maybe five videos watched. Maybe, if that. And some of those had to stop at a point. And, you know, I've got things I have to go do. So uh, one of them in particular was, uh, uh, the video was uh, talking about uh, where the channel should be going. And, you know, there's a number of folks that are unsure where they're, channel should be going or how it should be and when I was talking about always having new products you know in the video and <laughs> yeah, pretty soon and I say pretty soon in other words it may be close to three four weeks away but uh it's not that I don't have new products from time to time depends on what I'm interested in but uh, I do understand that if you're trying to buy everything that's new, always having new content, uh, you'll go broke. <laughs> I don't make nowhere near enough money to do anything of the sort. So some of my videos, you'll notice from time to time, I'll mention, yeah, you're not going to be able to find this soap new. Some of them are hard to find. They were hard to find when I got it. At least, you know, it was hard for me to find. And maybe because I was late to the game. But if you're thinking about starting your channel up, depending on uh, how you want your channel to look, to me, I think it's important just to be you. 
So in other words, if you're just uh, showing products, just talking about them, even though they may not be, uh, how can you say, new, they're old, they've been out a while, and you may have to hunt one down, by the way, a buy, sell, trade, uh, that uh, is not a bad thing. It also, uh, how can you say, helps a person understand or get an idea of what was available prior to them starting into this, uh, I guess you might say, hobby. What all was available long before they started or before they discovered it. And where things are going, you know, as it goes for going forward. Because the soaps have changed over time. I've got some older soaps that the bases are a lot different than what they are today. And it may be from the same artisan. But you can kind of tell when you compare some of the older soaps to the newer soaps and what the bases are and, and how things are progressing even with scents. Uh, there are some folks that still will make some uh, scents that are straightforward. And for my nose, <laughs> that works great. Uh, straightforward lemon, orange, coffee, whatever it happens to be. Something straightforward works great for my nose because my nose is not sophisticated. Yeah, this blade here, I've got... It's not a wholesale area that's stinging. But I've got places here and there. <laughs> I think the blade has seen us better days. But typically this blade here is, gives me just fantastic, very smooth shaves. As long as you're not trying to press it and go too far with it. I mean, I still got a good shape. I don't have any weepers, didn't end up with any cuts or anything of the sort. Not that the cuts is the blade fault, but uh, <laughs> it's usually mine. <laughs> but... uh. I still ended up with, you know, a, a decent shave. I mean, you just can't tell that I've got spots here and there and everywhere uh, stinging. It, it's the blade. It's, like I say, it's seen its uh, better days. Got a lot better with the shave head, if you couldn't tell. That, this one here is a... It's just a different style. It takes a little bit of, a little bit of a learning curve for me. Than what I was expecting. It does, uh, how can you say, prompt some curiosity for me to wonder what does, uh, I guess you might say, the original version of this, what does it look like? I'm going to put this about waist high and slide it apart because I don't want to try to do it way up there. Uh, rinse some of that soap out maybe. Try to let you see what it looks like on the inside. It's got some soap in there, but there's the, the one plate there. That's how that blade fits up in there. And um, it, it's, it just, when you pinch it at the top, it just falls right in there. Or you can insert it, you know, like a like an injector, for instance. And trying to get the, a little bit of that soap out of the way so you see how this is pinned. If you find a video or a, or a photo picture of uh, how this is put together, uh, Kai versus, uh, I guess you might say this one here. Got it from AliExpress. That's what it looks like. That spring right there. That's how it's uh, secured in there. And I've seen these done, done in different ways. Some look better than others. This one here looks pretty decent. Some of them just look like they just took a piece of metal and kind of halfway smashed it over. And it looks like it may not last that long. But at $10, you know, I don't know how you can complain much if this thing lasts more than a year on daily use. I don't know that... Uh, I don't know if you can complain much about it. It just depends, I guess you might say, on what your expectations out of your $10. But I do take a, I got a container over here with a slot in the top that I drop off all of my used blades. For me, is it $10? Is it worth a buy if you're a shave vet shaver? Uh, for me, yeah, it's a, uh, it's worth a buy. Uh, at 10 bucks, that's pretty inexpensive. And as long as that spring doesn't, uh, give out on you kind of thinking this is going to last you a while put it back together there yeah there we go like i mentioned earlier you just it just you pinch it see how that opens right there just pinch at the top now for the aftershave i really do like these containers green uh the way this one here is shaped uh has a little bit of indentions here makes it easier to hang on to and that's what the inside uh the restrictor looks like it's pretty small it is plastic you can pull it out if you want something that you know allows more of the aftershave to come out because you do have to work at it to get it out at least until you get it a little bit further down in a container 
it does take a bit of effort. I think it's geranium I'm picking up right now. On the dry down, this is one of those scents that when you first smell it, you'll smell one thing, then after a while as it dries down, you're going to smell something else. It's, it's more of an earthy scent. Definitely different than the Italian Barber's Blue Fougere, the last one I used. Smells good. It it is definitely one of those scents that is not mild. It it's it's pretty bold. <laughs> it's out there. And once again, that's what the container looks like. The one that I got. I've had this one. I got this one last year. So this year's uh container might be the more the traditional uh container. Pretty good shape. Can't complain a bit. Hope everybody's doing well. You know, stay healthy, stay safe out there, and uh, smooth shades to you.